I'm Miserytastic, and today is day 28, I know. Oh my goodness, I am sure your drawing skills have improved greatly if you've been joining me every single day for the month of June. Drawing with me every single day during this June drawing bonanza. Wow! Day 28, and today it's getting spicy. Ah. Spicy. Mm-hmm. So we are drawing a beach umbrella, but with some spice today, so grab something to draw with and something to color with, and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, welcome back. It is day 28. I'm so excited, guys, because I'm really, I'm really tired. All right, day 28 of this challenge that mostly is a challenge for me to make sure I do a video for you for every single day of the month of June. We are on day 28. If you are just joining me, this is the June Drawing Bonanza Challenge. Wow. I'm doing a video for every single day of June. So if you're looking for a whole bunch of videos, guys, go back, watch all the different videos, and try doing every single one of them because you're going to see your drawing skills go from here all the way up to here by just by drawing every single day. Also, they are all themed for the month of June. They're all in theme of things that you would see for the summer, so that's cool vibes for, you know, summer vibes. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Beach umbrella. I told you in the last episode when I was doing the lemonade that fell asleep that this is going to be a spicy umbrella. So we're going to make it spicy. Beach umbrella. Okay. <laughs> I got my idea. Remember, I make this up on the spot. I'm making it up on I just, every single episode. I make it up on the spot, and I also do that with my own artwork in my own studio. I do that. Yeah, that's how how I roll. Big curve. Okay. Woo. All right. Big curvy lines. Now I'm making those nice and neat. Oh yeah. Check it out. Looks like an umbrella, doesn't it? Which it is, but it's at the beach. All right. Now this is how we're gonna make it spicy. Man, I saw. Some people get some umbrellas and I, I watched recently some umbrellas during like a storm and they never even took off and I was like literally blew my mind. These people got them into the sand so well. It was so crazy. All right, we're at the beach. We gotta draw some sand. So get those, get that hand like loosey goosey here. Loosey goosey, loosey goosey to get some weird sand texture. Loosey goosey. All right, got some loosey goosey going on. Spicy, right? Okay, this is how I'm making it spicy. There is a sun in the sky. I don't know if you knew this. Just kidding. The sun in the sky, so hot, right? Well, guess what? That beach umbrella is there getting all that heat. So this is what's happening. It's on fire, yo. It just caught on fire. Beach umbrella is on fire. You didn't see this coming, did you? This is a spicy, hot, Beach umbrella. I did not know how I was gonna make it spicy yesterday when I was filming the other one. I said I was gonna decide. I decided to do a spicy one. This is spicy. If you have other ideas of how to make it spicy, you add those ideas. Like maybe there's some hot chili peppers hanging out under here. You know what? I'm just gonna do that. It's a good idea. Got my jalapeno. See, this is how you add artist flavor. You. This is what. This is the difference between me and AI. Is that I can sit here and just make up things on the spot all day long. Although I guess it is sort of doing that, but not really, but kind of, but maybe. Yeah, I just added a jalapeno on our burning umbrella. Now I guess you could type that into AI, but you know what? I'm having more fun doing it like this. There we go. Okay, make yours spicy as well. Maybe you got some chili pepper or chili oil on your umbrella. Umbrella with some chili oil. I think that's a TikTok reference. You're welcome. All right. Oh yeah, does it have smoke? I guess it would be a little bit smoky because it's an umbrella on fire. But this guy's happy about it. Everything is fine. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, it needs a shadow. Everything is fine. Oh yeah, this guy needs a face. Oh yeah, this umbrella is not thrilled. It's gonna be crying. 
Okay, two one circle on either side and a curving line in the middle. Anytime you need me to slow down, just hit that pause button and I'm gonna freeze. Yeah, and hit play when you're ready to continue. In each of those eyes, place a circle. And then you can go ahead and color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just the circles white. All right, I forgot what's happening. Woo! Mouth, it's sad. <laughs> Add a jelly bean line below. Yeah, and let's add a tongue with a lowercase letter M. Next, we're gonna color in the dark of the mouth, leaving that tongue nice and white. Now, I think the best thing about drawing every day is that not only are you getting better, but your ideas are getting a little bit crazier and crazier and crazier every single time that you draw them. By the end of it, you have crazy ideas happening. I think that's the, the best way to tap into your artist and creative flow and get creative is by doing it every day because eventually you're gonna need, you're, you're grasping for ideas and you're just going crazy and you just have to get it done. So you're just gonna do whatever and you're just gonna throw everything at it. You're just gonna do it all and it makes it crazier compared to day one. I have day one right here. Day one, that was my day one drawing. It's okay. It's pretty normal. This is a um, beach umbrella on fire and it's gonna be crying with a jalapeno. So, you know, there's a difference. <laughs> add some tears streaming down the face. I like to add some variety of blues on my tears. If you really want, it could be like dripping tears. So it's like raining, but like on fire, but like it's tears. Okay, there we go. That's how we get it done. All right, once you're done drawing your umbrella, your spicy umbrella. Go ahead and color it in your favorite colors with your favorite art making mediums. Yeah. I really want to make my umbrella red, but unfortunately I think all my reds are no more. I might have one. It might be crimson though. Do I really want a crimson umbrella? I don't know. That's the question. but this does make me want to eat some nachos. Or like a burrito. I love burritos. I think burritos are my favorite food. Next to paneer, I also love curry. Mm. I want, that sounds like a great dinner idea. Mm. Which one? It's always hard to choose between a burrito and curry. <laughs> I think that's my, always, it's my problem in life. Do I want the burrito or do I want curry? Million dollar question right there. All right, I'm doing red guys. Cause my, my red, oh this is supposed to be a jalapeno pepper. Now what kind of pepper is it? Chili pepper, I guess. <laughs> if I was smart, I would have done a California Reaper. Or a habanero. Mm. Well, actually, you know what? I'm not really a super fan of super spicy. I don't like it when I can't taste anymore. That's a little bit too far. I, got, I like mild spice. It's mild. But some people have amazing talent for super, super hot spice. If you're one of those people, give me a like so I know how many people like the super hot. Like are you enjoying crying while you're eating? If that's you, you are in this category. Maybe that's why the umbrella is actually sad. Because it's so spicy. And not, these are tears of happiness from eating all the spice. Not from being on fire. <laughs> maybe it's on fire because it, <gasps> maybe it's actually not burning from the sun. Maybe this umbrella ate something spicy, some spicy nachos or spicy curry or a spicy burrito, and now it's like, ah, oh, my mouth is on fire! Ah! Ah! <laughs> and my eyes are burning! I got jalapeno in them. Yeah, that is, this is a real true story, guys. 
this is a true, these are vibes that I'm feeling right now. Oh, I've had it one time. Yeah, it's bringing back some memories of spicy food. Okay, got my umbrella stand done. Mm -hmm. I need a sand color. I have a lack of sand colors. I have a lack of browns too. I've used them all up. Man, it's brutal. Oh my gosh, look at this. Artist loft. I don't even want to look at these markers after this. Anyways, I'm really, I'm just really that disappointed. I'll be honest, I'm really disappointed because, like I said earlier, they jack their prices up at Michaels. I'm gonna keep saying that Michaels until I see some improvement. Six dollars for an individual marker, and then it dies in a day. Mm-hmm. Next time you're in Michael's, you tell them that Mr. Tastic is dissatisfied with their quality. I don't mind put I don't mind pain if it's quality and it lasts. But I do mind if I get a day and a half out of it. Okay. And then just like that, your spicy umbrella. We went through a few versions of why it's spicy, but once you're done, your very spicy umbrella is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So tag me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.